Hello and welcome by this video tutorial from 2D Data Recording. And in this video, I'm going to explain you how you best organize your data when you're using the 2D Kit software. It's our free software that comes with the hardware. In order to be able to quickly find the data you're looking for, it is important to organize it very well on your computer. And our software helps you to create your own library with your data. This here is the structure that we are eventually looking for. This is the way that we organize the data on our computer. And as you can see on our hard drive C, when you install the software, automatically the folder raised data will be created. Now it's up to us inside raised data where and how we put it. And the best way to do it is like this, we create events. Later I will explain you how to do that. Here we have an example of three events, race number one in ASSE, test number one in ASSE, test number two was in Valencia. Inside this folder, this events folder from race one in ASSE, we have the different sessions, like free session one, rider initials, outing one. Free session one, rider initials, outing two. So we went out twice during free practice one. In free practice two, we went out twice again, free practice three also two times. So this is the structure we're looking for. This is the folder that is already on your hard drive. This is the name of the events that I will explain you later how to do it, how to create them. Inside the events, we have the sessions. And in the sessions, there are the various labs. When your data is organized in this way, you will always be able to quickly find the data that you want to see right now. Before we can start to organize the data on our laptop computer, we need to do one thing first. And that is, we have to give a name to the data recorder on the bike. And for this, we usually take the initials of your rider's name, sometimes also including his starting number. When you connect your computer to the data recorder, it is here where you can change the name of the data recorder. Now, if your rider happens to be Valentino Rossi, you would write down VR, and eventually you can also add his writing number to it. With the 2D software, it is here where we create our event. Then we have a couple of options. Let's say in this example, we're going to Valencia for a two day test and later in the year, we will have a race in Valencia. First thing we answer that we need to give is, is it a closed track or not? And road racing usually is on a closed track when it's not hill climbing or anything. So it's a closed track. Here we have a drop down menu and we choose the track that we are going to. Since it's Valencia, I write down VAL. Go down until we have this Valencia track. That is the name. Now comes the event name. This is the suggestion from the software. It comes with the date and the track name. For me personally, this is not very easy later to, to work with. So I would suggest in this case to, to do something like test one in Valencia. Then later we always know this was the test and later we have another folder called Valencia, but it will be the race. If I say, okay, this folder will be created and be on our hard drive ready to put in all the other data. The next thing we do before we start writing and collecting data is to choose the name of the next session. This can be day one, this can be qualifying or whatever is coming up. Now these names here are just proposals from 2D and you can leave them as they are and use them at will or change them completely by yourself. And if it's a two day test coming up and you expect not to have too much data every day, you can also say day number one. and after uh, downloading the data for the first time, it will go into this event folder that we just created. It will be called day one, and these underscores will be automatically be replaced by the name of your logger, which is actually the initials of your rider. To help you organize your data with 2D very well, there is these following three steps that you have to remember. First, change the name of your data logger into the initials of your rider. Second, Create an event with our software and give this event a logic name, like a test number one or it's race number five. Then set a name of the session before you start downloading the data from the bike, like free practice one or it's day number one. From there on, you're good to go.